Oh yeah, because you know, circuses are mad because they could just like dismantle all this and just transport it to another area like that. And well, this was already here, but you know the picture. Like that's why like some rides are always like weirdly like the uh, dangerous looking like half the time because they have to be like put together fast like. But um, God, there was something else I was gonna talk about. Oh yeah, on TikTok, I've actually almost caught up to like well yeah no I have caught up. I'm speeding past the Clips channel now, but I'm on, like, 20... I think it was clip 21 of, like, 28. So, like, soon my TikTok is just going to run dry. Like, I know there's been some dry days with it, but there's going to be, like, a dry spell for a while. Because, as I said, I'm not really making clips for a while now. The clips I usually, were, like, make were for the um, uh, Clips channel on YouTube anyway. So, I'm not really going to bother with that. Well, to be fair, actually, originally they were for TikTok, and then I switched over to making them just for YouTube. Well, not just for YouTube, but uploading them to YouTube, then YouTube caught up, and then I started making more for YouTube, and then I fell out of uploading them to TikTok for a while because some weren't doing well, because I was a little baby bitch and not researching on, like, how I can make a TikTok do better than it actually is. That is why, like, part of my plan is to, like, remake and re-upload some of the TikToks because, you know, give them a second win, second chance at life. And yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, the clips have almost caught up. Might I also say as well, like, when I said I played 12 hours of Destiny, I actually mean it. Like, I think it was, like, every two, three, four hours in some cases, like, I would take a break. And obviously some of the hours could be counted out when I actually, like, took a break and when I got something to eat, when I had dinner, when I did had lunch. And in the morning when I actually, like, uh, made the thingy video first to determine whether I should even make a series on the Witch Queen and then it flops so I'm not bothered. I'm going to try and do that from now on. Like, when a series just, like, flops, just leave it. I do that a lot on the Destiny channel. Not really on the... Uh, Joe's my flyer channel because like it's my channel and I can do what I want with it <laughs> Sorry, that sounds so arrogant, but like it is kind of true though because like I, That channel is just my freedom to just do what I want and Obviously like on the destiny channel, I kind of feel in and out of it That's why I'm not really gonna upload much unless I actually really want to make a video for it So I'm not gonna be that desperate to upload a video plus like the uh, Clips channel is what I probably should be concentrating on more because like that's the channel with more subs But it is how it is Obviously, I've continued the Honey Pop series because the Honey Pop series actually did well. Like, I think the first episode has, like, 30 views. I don't know if that's on Honey Pop 2 or 1. But obviously, like, you can check that out on the Joe's Night Flyer. Or, no, actually, wait. You can check it out on the Night Flyer channel because that's was a, it was a subscriber special that turned into a series. Because, well, Honey Pop was actually in the same boat as, like, what I've recorded for, like, the Destiny 2 Witch Queen campaign series. It's like, I recorded, like, the whole thing, or, well, for Witch Queen's sake, uh, I recorded most of it. But, like, with, like, Honey Pop, I recorded, like, all of it, or the majority of it, and I was like, alright, just upload one, we'll have all the footage in case I need it, and we'll go from there, you know? If anything, I probably should delete some of the Witch Queen footage now, before it just takes up too much space on my uh, computer. Because, like, I've done a lot of recordings, and they're probably, they're probably going to... Like, my computer's probably got a room known space. But, um... Obviously, because the first episode did so well. I think it got, like, six views at the time. In a day or something like that. So I was just like, oh, okay. So, Honey Pop is good, so I'll keep going. And I think, like, the second episode got ten views. I don't know if that's in recent time or at the time, but... There's that as well. Um... What should we call it? <laughs> And obviously, I kept going from there. Obviously, I think after... Well, actually, no. I think the Honey Pop 1 series did well overall because it's such a short series as well. I think it was like six or seven episodes long. Because in the Honey Pop series that I did for... Well, the Nightflyer slash the Joe's Nightflyer. Or the Joe's Nightflyer. The, uh, uh, just Joe's Nightflyer channel. The Joe's Nightflyer channel. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Um, when I did Honey Pop 1, I skipped a lot of it anyway. And I just put in the funny moments. Honey Pop 2 is different because, like, it's a recent game, so I'm going to keep, like, a lot of the story elements in. But, man, you don't understand how much fucking grinding moments I have to take out of the game where I say the most uninteresting things 
or just grunt and laugh and stuff and like it's just like bro like to be fair i know it might be kind of boring now but like i i assure you that eventually i will like during that series like the honey pop 2 series like a lot of the stuff gets cut out like there's moments where like in the series like i've introduced this new thing called like the um next pair intermission i think i called it recently like next girls intermission or something like that because like there's so little interaction i had with the last pair that like i have to skip straight to the next pair and there's no like transition to it like like let me say this right i went from like in the editing software i'm on like the footage that's probably the longest it's like four hour like nearly four hours long and in recent times i think i got it down to like three hours and like probably 40 minutes nearly half i think it's on like three hours and uh like 10 minutes now or something like that it's around there like <laughs> it just shows how much i have to cut out like i had to cut out a good like half an hour of footage just to get decent footage <clears throat> now to be fair i edited the honey pop series like offline and I just needed, um, like, I, I just didn't want to cut up the episode yet because I wanted to make sure, like, if I wanted to add, like, a meme that I had to be connected to the internet to make with Photoshop and stuff, that I'd be able to do that and stuff. So, yeah. It's just, man. It's, it's kind of nice to see, though, that I'm just willing to skip over a lot of shit. Except for the first episode of The Witch Queen. That probably should have been properly edited, but... Obviously, it, since it just released, I need and I was behind. I needed to upload it as fast as I can, but obviously I was too late. So yeah, and plus the thumbnails have been shit. I just don't want to use spoiler thumbnails, you know. I could, I literally could be a bitch and use spoiler thumbnails, but I don't really respect people that like do that. Even though I did cover leaks before, but that that's different, right? Because like in that thumbnail, I am purposely like didn't show much. I just showed like the um thingy logo one two three four five six is that i think that's the tallest one yet that scaffolding let's just do the majority of this maybe if i do the majority it'll be all right and the main reason i'm just jumping because i don't want to like go around and find a ladder and stuff man i don't think there even is is there nope they left me with no ladder or anything just a ball and scaffolding Hold on, I'm going to try something. As you can tell, I've kind of gotten used to going up to these a bit faster. Nah. Joe, you're, you're, not, you're not good enough to recreate it. Because I think in like one of the last streams, I didn't, um, I didn't leave it or like it got cut out because of the thing. Oh yeah, when that Steam thing showed up, I actually panicked. I was like, oh no, wait, is this showing like my personal info and stuff? But like, as you can see, it's not. It's just literally telling you that I'm on Steam and stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, no, Power Wash isn't on anything else yet because it's literally early access. So, yeah. Honestly, the only critique I really have for Power Wash right now is... Uh, why can't I jump up to here? Okay, there we go. Is that like... I would love if they added, like, a field of view that can go a lot higher, honestly. Oh, yeah, actually, that's another conversational topic I wanted to bring up. Um, so, KSI's editor got, like, a widescreen monitor, and he was, like, he was, like, kind of, like, pushing the fact, or not pushing, but, like, he was encouraging, like, yeah, no, if anybody does editing and stuff, you probably should get this, it's probably cool and stuff. But then I was thinking to myself, do I really want to? I don't know, because, like... Maybe I could. Obviously, I could play a game and have thing at the same time, but I don't know how that... I say I don't know how that works, but to be fair, Joe, I would, but... I don't know. It's just potential, right? Because, like, it's just like, what if I had, like, more screen? So, like, I, I'm pointing to it now in real life, but there's, like, a like a big, like, black space because of the two monsters, like, attached to each other, and it's just, like, that, and... One screen's lower than the other, and... Like, to be fair, I could see where he's coming from, but... I don't know. Like, if I break one monitor, at least I still have the other monitor to use. 
And plus, I'm on Windows, so like, the desktop, as far as I'm aware, is saved onto things, so. But yeah, like, the monitor is, um, which got, yeah, as I said, sorry, uh, desktop, Windows 11, well, actually, I don't know if Windows 11 works like that. But, like, yeah, I have Windows 11, I know, I, I'm mad. But, um, what do we call it? I don't know. No, I do know, sorry. Bro, my train of thought just went out the window. So, yeah, desktop, if I lost the monitor, I'd still be able to switch to the other desktop anyway if I needed to. Because, um, well, let's just say that I think, like, I can't remember which button it is. Is it this one? Yeah, so if I click um, the two squares at the bottom of the screen for me, so it's like the Windows logo, the search, and then it's like the two squares logo. If I click that, it'll let me open the monitor or a uh, desktop. For some reason, it just says desktop one and add a new desktop, but I assume, like, it means, like, on the side that I'm currently on, and if I were to unplug this, like, monitor, like, it would, like, um, obviously give me the ability to, like, look at the other monitor when, like, I don't have, um, thing for it. You know, it's kind of dangerous for me to be power washing this wallet on. I just realized this thing is on. It could blow up in my face, like... Um... <laughs> But yeah, no, like, again, as I said, like, I think having, like, multiple monitors is handy in that kind of scenario, you know? Because, like, the one mobile for, um, like, himself was, like, a thousand quid, I think. And to be fair, like, it's 4K and all that, so, like, yeah, it's all, like, it makes sense why it's so expensive. And it's ultra-wide, obviously, so, like, like, the, uh, my desk, how long is that? Okay, let me, let me use my arm for measurement. Okay, an arm and a half? I'd say, like, my my desk is, like, an arm and a half across. If you see my videos, <laughs> take the measurement of my arms and go from there. And be like, alright, so Joe said this. So that means it's this, that, and that. But, um... Yeah, I know. It, the thing is, it would fit. I would just be scared that, like, if I broke that monitor, I'd lose a lot from that, you know? And, like, I bought these two monitors for, like, what? Like, under, like, maybe 220 Cause like I, they're only 1080p monitors, so they're not mad like in quality. But I did say to myself though, if like um, I think I've already mentioned this somewhere else. But I did mention, or I I I, 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 I am saying to myself though, like if I ever decide to um, actually wait, let me check if there's oh there's a ladder there the entire time. Do no step, huh? Interesting. But um, if I ever get or break the monitor and need to get a new one. Or if I just decide, you know what, time to get a new monitor. I'm definitely going to go... Like, I might scale up a bit. But another part of me is just like, ah, nah, just, just get the 4K one, Joe. Just do it, man. Now that I think about it as well, if I got, like, a <laughs> like a ultra widescreen monitor, I'd have to, like, reorganize my desktop and stuff. But uh, it's, it's not much of an issue. It's just me being petty. Like, that's really it. Like, there we go. What is this? Yeah, it is. It's kind of a bit dirty. It's dirty, isn't it? I probably should use like the other nozzle, but nah. I don't know, man. Uh, you know, yeah. Let's do the floor first, cause like the floor is probably like the easiest thing I can do right now. Okay, let's just leave it on green, cause green's doing the majority of the work here. Yeah, I'll go back and make it tidy. I say make it tidy as I try to power wash this sideways. Okay, wait, I'm assuming actually I didn't get that wire done properly. Yep, there you go. Come on. I love the logic in this game. I love the way like the physics work. I feel like though in the future they're going to update the game and it's just going to be shit. I just really hope they don't. Because like, I know it's... It's good to be innovative and stuff with the game and stuff and change a few things for the better. But, like, if it means, like, you take away the fun from the game, then, you know. Like, that that's a big problem with some games. Like, Destiny has been, like, Destiny 2 in particular has been, like, 
through many different phases of like different like uh, things being added in and out. But an absolute peeler of a track from Asterix Winks that I can't wait to hit you with. A track? Am I cleaning a fucking racetrack next? But, um, what was I saying? Oh, you're gonna float away into the cosmos when you hear this. Just a sec. I'm wait okay, I'll wait a sec. You fucking pissed me off now. Because I've lost what I was talking about. Oh my god, I can't remember. I actually legit can't remember. Oh yeah, and as you can see from my money, I have a lot of money. I, I refuse to spend it because I don't really need to spend it. And plus, honestly, I'm actually kind of expecting, like, if Power Wash Simulator still has a bit of ways to go, I feel like they're going to add, like, a new Power Washer that's going to be even more powerful than my current one. And, like, I'm going to be real. I want that when it comes out, so, yeah. And plus, like, I think, like, Brandon's, like, done playing Power Wash himself, so... Like, I don't really need to buy cosmetics to impress him. I don't need to get anything else. And even if I joined his, like, he'll probably have some stuff. And if he joins mine, he'll know I have this anyway. And yeah. Unless somebody else get it. So I swear, like, Eliza was thinking about getting it, but she probably shouldn't, honestly. <laughs> it's just, like, it, it'd be, it's just it's just pain. Especially, like, when you want to, like, play it and stuff. And I don't know. I just don't see it as, like, her type of game. But maybe it will be. Who knows? Um, what do you call it? This floor is actually taking quite a bit. It was taking longer than I thought it would. But don't worry, soon it'll go. I know I'm leaving like a bunch of pieces on the ground, but like, trust, it'll, it'll be done in no time. Oh, I think the only reason it's taking a while because I like have to avoid like the uh, this joke. There we go. Um, but yeah, no, like, obviously, like, when you complete the Witch Queen campaign, there's, like, still a lot to do afterwards. Especially when it comes to Finch, which, I'm not gonna lie, I was, I actually kind of called that that was gonna happen. I was like, I bet this Finch guy is, like, I bet, I bet this Finch guy is a hype ghost. And then when we meet him, he's a hype ghost. It's like, what? I predicted this. Let's go. And, like, what, like, um, what I found out, like, through the lore and stuff and whatnot. And, like, Sabathun actually legit forgot her memory. And I can't believe I didn't even think about that until now. Or, like, until that time in the story. But, like, it, it was actually such a good scene between her and the Traveler. Somehow, though, she got stabbed. I don't even know how, but she got stabbed. Unless she stabbed herself on purpose or something. But it might have been because of the crystal. Because I think, like, the piece of, um... What should we call it? When she died... No. Yeah, no, there was a piece of crystal and so on and so forth. And, um... Yeah, I'm sorry, I was just mad. I, I can't keep even keep my head straight because, like... Now we're, like, Marisov, I think, wants to, what, become Savathun's Worm's new, like, host? And it's just like, Mara, are you fucking mad? Not only did you fail to kill Savathun because of your arrogance, you're now so fucking desperate that you're willing to take Savathun's Worm in because I think it's, like, to find out, like, some other bits. I don't know. Because, like, we know now that the Traveler basically chose the Hive. Is there more to that? Probably. Because the investigation boards, for me, anyway, I've only... I've got, like, quest two and three of that. But I haven't done it yet. I think that's another reason why I stopped playing last night. Like, I stopped and went off early. And, like, why I don't want to play now. Because a lot of it now, I think, is just, like, a matter of, like, grinding before you can get, um... Uh, to continue thing. Wait, I just realized I've been cleaning this the entire time when I should have been cleaning, you know, uh, the fence. I got so distracted talking about Sabathun and stuff that I didn't even realize it. Man, that cutscene, though, with Saval and everybody in, it felt so weird that nobody wanted to say anything else. I honestly felt like no, like, if I'm being real, I don't think all of them had to be there. I think they were just there for dramatic effect. Like, I know I'm being, like, a, a little, like, bitch now, like, complaining about Witch Queen. 
But obviously not everything's going to be perfect. Obviously I'm not getting that same nostalgic vibes I got from like the Taken King, for example, but I still like love the Witch Queen. I think it's like one of their best works in a while, like especially when it comes to like tying the game to lore and stuff. And the fact that they might be trying to tie Siva back into the game as well. Because Lord Saladin mentioned how, like, the Iron Lord's dying by Siva and stuff in a conversation. And I was like, no fucking way is Paul Tassi calling this, like... Because <clears throat> honestly, <laughs> if, if, if that happens, if a Siva season actually happens, Wrath the Machine could potentially come back, but on top of that... I think it would be just so cool to be just like, it's just, it'd be so cool for me. It's just like, yup, let's go. Let's make more Season of the Plague videos. Because Season of the Plague is what took off on the channel and made me decide to like switch the Night Flyer from normal content to Destiny content, or yeah, Destiny 2 content and Destiny. But, man, ah, so weird. I just, man, I'm sorry, I, I keep thinking about things, but I keep, like, I keep thinking about something else, and then I'm just, like, I'm stuck for what I want to talk about when it comes to Destiny, because it's honestly really cool. I guess we could talk about, like, weapon crafting and stuff. Part of it is a bit confusing to me, but I think it's only because I didn't delete the, um, <laughs> Recluse. Yes, I'm going to call my new... Uh, favorite SMG recluse. Not the Osteostriga, but the uh, Vice one I got. Because, like, it's literally void. It's void. It shoots as fast as, like, um... It shoots just as fast as, like, um... What should we call it? As recluse. I feel like they just added recluse back with a different skin. But obviously not with the same perks. And it's just like, bro. Wait, I just realized I should have been doing the outside of this as well the whole time. There's a few things I should have been doing. But, um, yeah, I probably should delete that if I want to customize its perks. But I'm actually kind of scared as well in case I can't reshape it. Actually, no, I don't think I can. I need to look into that again. Because I don't think all the Whirlpool loot can be craftable yet. But they should make them craftable, honestly. As for weapon crafting itself... Like, reshaping the, like, the Enigma was so hard. It was actually so challenging to me. Like, I was like, what? Wait, you want me to do this now? And you want me to do that? Like, I was being stupid. I, like, I had four, like, I think it's called, like, Ascendant Alloy. The materials used to change to an enhanced perk and all that. But my dumbass changed one perk first, then changed the other... I'm spending two resident alloys per, th per thing. And I think I spent the third one as well. Finally ending the quest. And it's just like, bro, come on, man. I think you can grind for more, though. So it's not that big of a deal. But, yeah. I think, if anything, I probably won't be crafting as often just because of that. But, you know, I love the glaive. The glaive is honestly my favorite weapon. I know I just talked about recluse and how I got it back, basically. But, man, the Glaive is just so much fun to use. They did right by giving it a shield and stuff and making it be able to shoot. Because if it was only a melee weapon, I don't think anybody would use it. Like, it'd be cool for the shield, but, like, it's the fact that it can shoot shield and, like, hit people that it's a good thing. Like, I kept saying to myself, like, basically the Glaive is like, Oh, you want to melee, like, faster but not need a new... Perk to, uh, perk to do so, or speed up thing, whatever, get speed up ability on an exotic. Here you go, here's the glaive. You can multi chain kills and stuff with uh, by punching stuff and whatnot. Have fun. Yeah, and it's just, man, I can't wait to see, like, I get my hands on the exotic glaive as well. But, like, the glaive as a weapon type is definitely staying in my inventory. I can say that much. Like, I'm not getting rid of the glaive now. Especially because, like, it's craftable. So, like, I could just keep on, like, holding it. If I ever need to get rid of it for whatever reason. Maybe because, like, an exotic one would take its spot. Because I assume, like, they would all, all, they all go in the secondary anyway. But, obviously, if I needed to, I'd just put it in the vault. The only problem is, though, my vault is, like, I think 450 out of 500. That out didn't come by and clean my vault. Lol. Nah, no, he, he, he wouldn't have to for someone like me. Unless he's somehow seeing this and <laughs> wants to actually help me clean my vault whilst also trying to make, like, a shit ton of Witch Queen content at the same time. 
then I'd be down for that, but um, I, I don't think it'll be possible. But, um, nah, no, I'll definitely clean it more over time. I'm just like, I think I'm still holding on to some stuff just in case. But I really should just let go of sunset weapons. Especially ones like, if I have any with set perks, they just need to be deleted at this point. Because the set perk weapons, there's just no point in having. Because, like, um, like, those are from, like, year one. And, like, we have random rolls and craftable weapons now, so. That feels weird to say. We have both of them, but, yeah. Um, I actually didn't even notice, like, the no orb generation thing. Because, like, I was already, like, just too busy with the campaign and stuff, but. <clears throat> and I'll do the inside when I'm actually, like, cleaning the fence and stuff. But, um. <clears throat> it's just cool stuff, you know? I hope they just literally say, right, you know what? This weapon is now craftable in this season, you know? I hope they just literally just take weapons. Like, for example, if they took, like, the, um... Like, for example, if they took, um... Oh, what's it called? Um, if they took, like, Hawkmoon and Dead Man's Tail. Okay, maybe not Hawkmoon, because it's imbued with light. But Dead Man's Tail. If they took, like, Dead Man's Tail and said, right, by the way, you can craft this now. I think a lot of people would love that. Because I have a bunch of rolls of Dead Man Tail in my vault that I wish I could just delete. Because I don't want, like, five cop or six copies of Dead Man Tails that I'm never going to use, but I'm holding on to anyway in case the perk on them become overpowered when they're used on the Dead Man's Tail itself, you know? I'm so annoyed that this isn't cleaning. I'll clean it later. But, um... Oh, yeah, here. Wait, there's some here as well. But, um, whatchamacallit. Like, if they could start doing that for th those exotics in particular, I'd be happy, man. Because, like, it would free up some vault space. And plus, like, there's really no point of us having all those random rolls if, like, there was only, like, set rolls in the first place and yada, 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 and yeah. I think, like, when it comes to Dead Man's Tail in the, uh, thing, I think you can get... Oh, yeah, no, wait, Zer sells one per week, I forgot. It's not Monuments to Lice, I don't think. Yeah, no, it's not in Monuments to Light because um, they put Hawkmoon and thing into Xur's inventory. And it's like, oh, this week Xur's selling uh, the Dead Man's Tail with this on if you want it. And he's selling the Hawkmoon with this on it if you want it. No, nope. Not looking for go looking good for the music, mate. Yeah, mate, I'm already 40% of the way. It doesn't matter. Just leave me alone. Let me talk to myself. Like, um, But I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. If anything, I'd love to have the ability to change, like, the language. No, the rave generator's a goner. So sorry, mate. Um, I'd love to have the ability to just change the language of the game, like, at will. Like, I know that would probably be a big download package because, like, you know, be bringing in, like, all the voices for everything and all that, but I'd be willing to make some extra space for a Japanese version of Destiny 2. I'd literally, like, if I knew I could do that, I would hold back on playing the Witch Queen campaign again until I got, like, thing. And then I'd make a video... For one video saying, like, um, mm, playing the Witch Queen uh, campaign in Japanese. Because so I watched a trailer in Japanese that actually. <coughs> and Sabathun sounded kind of cool in it. So. Yeah. <coughs> I still can't believe we. Well, like, obviously, I. Because, again, I thought she was going to be an ally. I thought we were going to, like, basically just say, oh, yeah, like, now that you know they betrayed you, why don't you just team up with us and do this instead, you know? Like, I feel like Sabathun will come back, especially because Imaru is, um... Which I think Imaru actually is a Japanese name. But Imaru is, like, um... Just still floating about, and... We have her body, but we don't really, like... We can't really do much with Sabathun in her current state. <clears throat> I don't know. It was just unexpected for me. Because, again, I thought, like, the strike spoiled it for me, but it didn't. If anything, the, the strike, like, pulled, like, an endgame spoiler on me. Where it's, like, it told me, like, a potential spoiler. But, like, didn't, um, elaborate further. It didn't, like... It, like basically, I got tricked. I got tricked by Sabathun herself. By thinking that she was going to be our ally, but she just died. Again, she, she really should just join us at this point. <laughs> like, 
But I think, like, at this point, at the end of the season, we might as well just reawaken Sabathun and be like, yo, okay, look. We all want the same thing here. We all want to, just, like, uh, to kill the w w witness. Please just help us. And we can make this pact. Then everybody can be high, uh, not high guardians together. Everybody can be guardians together. Honestly, I thought about it, like, since, um, <clears throat> Sony have, like, invested a lot of money in Bungie, right? What if... And this is a big what if. What if, if like, if that money is being funneled into the game, what if Bungie are just like, you know what? <clears throat> Since Sabathun can have the light, and now, you know, let's say for the same sake in the future that Sabathun becomes an ally, and then she tells us, like, if there's any other thing she could do to, become, like, get the light. Or maybe even just uh, if we convince Ghost to start reviving who we want. Like, I think it would be really cool. If we could just, like, get a new class, right? Because I know, like, it'd be mad because there's so much to do. And obviously, like, it'd be weirdly, like, non-canonical. If, like... If, if like, let's say, if, like, you're an Elixir Guardian, right? It, it, it would obviously have to be non-canonical in some places because, um... Because I think they mention you, like... Hmm. But then again, you'd still be a Guardian. I don't know, they'd have to write around that. But I just think it'd be so cool, like, maybe in, like, Lightfall, if we, like, had, like, Elixir Guardians. And, like, obviously, I'd say... Because it wouldn't be fair that they didn't have stasis, but it would make sense as well in the lore's point why they don't have stasis. Unless, like, unless, like, there's another bit of story where it's like, oh, here you are, my Elixir Guardian brethren. And then, you know, Varric's like, the Guardians of Earth have... Acquired the power of darkness. You seem strong as a freshly revived guardian to be able to do this and that and that, you know. It'd be so cool, but there'd be too much to do. Like, they'd have to, like, rewrite a lot of stuff. They'd have to write a lot of stuff. But I could just imagine you being, like, revived in, like... I don't know, maybe, like, in, um... Like, in the Elixir quarters or something, right? And then, all of a sudden... Like, um, you know, like, over your body, you just see, like, Mithrax's daughter or something as she's trying to, like, not bury you, but probably, like, you know, wrap you up for burial. And all of a sudden, the ghost is like, wait, I think I can revive this one. And then, it's like, they have an argument, and then, like, the ghost, like, revives you, you wake up, and it's like, oh, look, an Elixir Guardian exists now. It'd be such a shame, though, if, like, Mithrax doesn't become the first Guardian, the Elixir Guardian. That'd be just, oh, man, that'd be a... <laughs> That'd be, like, a bro moment, bro. And obviously, like, there's a lot of lore in, like, the past and stuff that just wouldn't, like, tie together. But to be fair, I'm thinking of the, um, again, Saint 14 talking over, like, the grave thing from the Corridors of Time again. Like, they could just do that. Because, like, the like if there was an Elixir inside that coffin, you wouldn't be able to tell, you know? And Mithrax was, or not Mithrax, Saint 14 was saying, like, Ting Tang and Tong, like, I don't know. Again, I just think it'd be so cool if they, like, we had a new class. Because I think that's the next step from even just adding new elements. It's just adding new classes. But, I do understand as well that they're adding a bunch of poison stuff in the game. So if they wanted to, like, focus on adding, like, poison or hive soul fire or whatever corruption it's going to be. If they, if they want to concentrate on that first, then they probably should. Unless it's, like, a thing they add, like, after, like, the Light and Dark Saga or something like that, you know? But, um, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just cool. It's just cool to think about. I'd love to, like, I know I sound like a nut job, but I'd love to have a fourth character. Just be, like, an Elixir Guardian, you know? Like, obviously, they could have, like, an exclusive weapon as well. Where, like, you hold, like, two weapons at the same time, you know? Because, like, assuming you're going to be, like, an elixir that's, um, uh, four arms, you know? Unless you're just a drag, but, like, I, I wouldn't want to be drag. I want to at least be a vandal, you know? I don't think I'd be a captain. Definitely, like, a vandal would do, like. But, um, actually, let me do this first. But, like, I'm just imagining how cool that would be. I need to stop, like, fan theorizing and crafting, man. To be fair, though, when I stopped it, like, uh, the Witch Queen became more entertaining to me. 
So I probably should heed myself on my own warnings. Oh, got one of them done. I'm going to do like under here first before I do the thing. Um, the other guardian type obviously would be Hive if we became like friends with Savathun. That'd be kind of weird how it would have worked, but like, I don't know. You never know. It, it'd be st still cool, because I remember like on, when I used to use Reddit, there used to be this guy that like photoshopped like the uh, Lucent Hive, like what their inventory screens would look like or character screen. <laughs> it just looks so funny, like just seeing like the Hive be like, oh, we, I got these like exotics. Are they any good? And like just ask you the subreddit for some advice, like. I'm still annoyed that the, uh, like the Taken, or Taken, that uh, the Lucent Knights, like the, the Guardian Knights, can use a uh, thing. They could use like the uh, Chitons Rampage without having the exotic on, or they, or they have better transmog than we do, and like they could just do thing, man. Like, why doesn't my normal one do that, huh? Come on, Bungie. Why can't I change this look of my... Oh my god, no, that'd be such a funny, like, ornament, I just realised. If they do a Chitin Rampage where it looks like hive arms, I actually would love that. Like, that would be... Just... Oh, no, that would be gas. That would be hilarious, man. It's just like, okay, we acknowledge that we've done that. But would you like to look like a hive? Uh... But yeah, I also did mention, like, obviously... Right now in the thing, I think I've unlocked like six artifact mods so far. On top of that, I've also, um, what do we call it? Honestly, I'm actually starting to get bored of this. I, this is the first time I've started to get bored of doing Power Wash. This is weird. It's nearly 12 anyway, so. Well, will I quit? Or I might quit early today. Honestly, <laughs> as much as I said I don't want to play Witch Queen, I kind of want to go back to Witch Queen now after playing this. I think it's just because... I'm I'm literally comparing fucking Power Wash to the fucking entity that is known as Witch Queen. Because it's such a good DLC, man. But, um... What do we call it? The... D, 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 I can't remember. I literally cannot remember. I have forsaken myself. Just like we have forsaken the forsaken DLC. Let's go. Um... Yeah, I can't remember what I was going to say, honestly. I, I apologize. Because, like, when you listen to this in the past, you're just like, bro, Joe, you were literally just talking about thing. How did you forget that? Have I ever mentioned I was forgetful? See, when I thought about, like, when I say that kind of thing, I'm like, oh, no, I'm just exaggerating. But now that I, like, really, really think about it, I actually am forgetful. Like, I've become so lazy in life that I don't even store memories anymore of the last five seconds of what just happened. I still have some memories from ages ago, which never leave my brain, which I wish would, because they're embarrassing and cringy, but you know what? It is how it is. And plus, I have my YouTube channel, like, that That should be enough to say, like, how, like, <laughs> enough memories for me, man. Man, honestly, I've actually had this thought before, right? If I ever had amnesia, right, and, like, let's say I forget, like, Let's say just, like, maybe the last five years. Let's say I forget, like, the last five years of what happened. So, basically, the length of Destiny 2. <laughs> I just realized that, oh, yeah, that would have been just the length of Destiny 2. Um, honestly, if I knew I was still doing YouTube and stuff, I'd be like, okay, Joe. Like, maybe I wouldn't think of it at first. I think I'd just be panicking because I'm like, oh, fuck, I've actually got amnesia. How the hell do I remember everything again? Because, like, my room's completely different than what it was five years ago. I'm a different person than it was five years ago. It'd be a shame, though, because I'd regress back to thing. But, like, it'd be so, like, funny as well. Because like, I literally could be like, oh, wait. Yeah, I do YouTube. I should just check my YouTube channel and see, like, if I get any hints from there of, why I, of who I used to be. Or maybe to see if I can unlock my memories again. I just do the Sabathun throne world joke where, like, you go into, like... I can't remember what you call it. I think it was like the reflection world or something. I want to call it the mirror world. Because you literally walk into like a hive mirror to view the memories full. Um, what do we call it? I should just like... I would just go like on a binge streak of just watching my old content. 
So like five years ago. So 22, 1, 2019, 18, 17. So yeah, go back to 2017. So at that time, oh my God, I, bro, I would have no memory of Dark Knight Flyer, the Night Flyer, the Flyer's Clips, Sweet Lou. Man, that's so weird to think. I would still think that Joseph Night Flyer is my main channel. That is so weird. That is actually genuinely so weird to think about. But, um, you know, I would go back to, like, so obviously if it was 2017, let's say, like, it's 2017 to this day. So, obviously, I go back to February that time around. Uh, obviously, like, the more videos I watch, the more, then I'll, like, get to heart and I'm like, damn, I sung this banger? What? Man, I wouldn't be this entertaining as well. I know that's, like, that's also narcissistic to say, but I'm gonna be real. Me now, like, even though I am boring, I'm a lot more entertaining than I used to be fucking five years ago. Like, like sure, some of my, like, 17-year-old self or 16 to 17-year-old self have some good moments, but, like, now I feel like I'm more entertaining, and especially because I cut a lot of stuff out. I actually be so confused on how to use for more, because I literally probably still be using Windows Movie Maker, potentially. I just realized as well. All the anime I've watched was basically between 2017 and thing. I watched like two anime beforehand. Oh my god, I would lose so much knowledge on anime. That is mad to think about. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh my god. That would be that would actually be insane to think about. But yeah, sorry, as I say, I'm like I'd watch a lot of videos. I just realized though, like lot I was gonna say Lost Sector for some reason. I was going to say Life is Strange just there as well. Um, fucking, what do we call it? Love Live would just not exist. I don't think at that time. That is insane as well to think about. Now, would I take the plunge into Idle Hell again? I'm going to be real. I don't think I actually would. Now, I'd probably still play the game, but I don't think I'd enjoy the like, game or the anime as much anymore. So I'm not gonna lie. I, I recently I rewatched like one of the dub episodes because like I didn't watch the whole dub in its entirety in the dub because like at the time it was uh, broken for various reasons which I cannot say, but um, what you call it, like, oh no, oh, I fell. Surprise the helter skelter is the tallest. Say uh, because like to twelve customers. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. No, that's so weird to think about. Like. I, I could go on a different life path at that point. Theoretically, yes, I suppose I could. But, um... Whatchamacallit. I'm trying to avoid talking to this fucking Kevin guy so I can actually talk about what I want to talk about. But, like... Because I'm going to talk about something else after this when it comes to going back in time and forgetting stuff and so on and so forth. Okay, look, I'm not arsed to climb this. Just do this, like... But, um... The... The, 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 the... Whatchamacallit... What you might call it? Yeah, if that wasn't a thing, that'd be so mad. Would I get like? Would I get support if I had memory loss? I'd assume I would, right? Because they would like if I because especially because like recently I forgot to even mention at the stream that I started talking to some old friends again. We're not talking too heavily. We're talking like one or two messages a day. But on top of that, there's um. Oh, they didn't do the bomb for this for some reason. Um. But, like, whatchamacallit, uh, I started talking about friends. I also, like, put my CV in a few places. Uh, first place didn't accept me. Well, it's not they didn't accept me. They said they were overwhelmed or something with things or something. They're like, they couldn't review it in time or whatever. Which is basically a kind way of saying, yeah, we don't want you here. Uh, but I went for an interview, like, on Tuesday, yes, the day of Witch Queen's launch. And, yeah, they said to get back to me in a week. So I hope they don't get back to me any sooner. Because I want to... Now I actually want to concentrate on Witch Queen and stuff. Rather than just actually getting a job and a life. What, Joe? Are you mad? I looked at the first thing that my friend said to me. Uh, I don't think it was Brandon. Was it Brandon? It might have been Brandon, actually. Well, my friend or Brandon. It's like... It's just like... Um, oh, you're not going to wait until the Witch Queen comes out? It's like, wow, this is... Yeah, that's true. I could have waited for that. Oh, it would have been sad, though, if I had literally waited until after the Witch Queen to get the job, or, or try to get a job. 
Because, like, then it'd be another excuse for me to delay thing. I, I actually have to go to get uh, to a place to uh, confirm that, like, I'm still looking for a job as well. Which, to be fair, I am. But I'm also kind of doing my job at the same time right now. Like, I don't... I'm not... Like, I hate lazing around. That's why, like, yesterday I felt so, like, horrible. Even though, like, I, I enjoyed playing the Witch Queen stuff, I, like... My fucking lungs just didn't feel right. Or, like, my rib cage. I think it's because of the exercising, but it might have been also the stress of, Joe, you haven't written any piece of the story. You haven't even edited a video. Other than, like, change the thumbnail and title for the, like, the Night Flyer video. You haven't exercised, and, like, you haven't done anything else. Like, come on, Joe, we need to get back on the job, bro. And, uh, yeah, obviously, that's why I'm here. Because I'm now convincing myself I need to do this. Now, will I continue editing the Honeypop episode after this? Probably not. It depends. Because I've edited a bit of it, but, like, I don't know. I still need to take some time with it. I feel like I'm speeding through the edit on purpose just so I can get to playing more of the Witch Queen stuff. Because, like, I definitely want to get back to my story. Because I was so close to finishing the first revision of Volume 2. Like, I was literally, like, a chapter or two. I think I was a single chapter off. Uh, actually, two chapters, if you count the bonus chapter. And, like, that's mad to think, man. Like, if I finish the first revision today, that's, like, 11... Let's say 12 days if I actually leave the bonus chapter until next day. That's 12 days it's taken me to, like do the first revision of the second volume when the first volume took fucking months obviously that includes the other like revisions but yeah i think on twitter i have like i have like the tweets uh, story tweets bookmarked so like if i ever need to reference when i talk about the story or what i talked about i have them i don't think i got all the tweets but like i got like some of the tweets i think there's like five i think or four total but um what you call it? It's just like, it's just, it's just bad, right? Because like, I'm actually pretty happy where the story is right now. Like for volume two, I just need to like basically finish it. Why am I like cleaning this the most awkward way possible? <laughs> I'm literally scaling this thing with thing. Um, what you call it? I'm scaling this Ferris wheel with itself instead of using. Uh, that scaffolding that's true there. You know? But, um, yeah. No, sorry, I also th briefly thought about there. I'd have to rewatch the entirety of Naruto, and that would be banging, like. Especially, like, right? If I lost my memories, I'd assume I'd be given, like, time to try and, like, regain my memories. Maybe a bit of funding to try and help me get myself back together. Because, like,. It'd be weird if they're like, oh, yeah, no, you got amnesia, bro, still. You need to go to work, bro. You're 21 now. It's like, but, like, in my mind, I'd be 16. That's so weird to think about. Like, oh, man. Man, I bet, like, <laughs> it'd be so troublesome, I just realized, like, for um, everyone else. Because, like, there'd be some people I know and some people I don't know, some people I forgot. And, like, man... Oh my god, wait. Would I? I probably would. Oh my god, I probably would, yeah. I just realized, like, because, like, some of my, like, I was still in second, yeah, I was still in secondary during that time. I was probably a fifth year at that time as well. So, like, I would, man, no. Man, that's horrible when I think about it. I don't know why I love talking about, like, horrible scenarios happening to myself. Like, there's fucking... Nights where I've daydreamed about, like, what I'd do in the scenario if I had fucking cancer and shit, you know? Like, it's it's kind of grim, I'm not gonna lie. That's just one example, obviously. It gets worse, like, you know, there's examples like, oh, if, like, if somebody was tailing me outside and I had to defend myself from them stabbing me, would I actually defend myself, or would I fail, and what would happen if I fail? Would I be able to recover from it? Would this happen, that happen? You know, it's just, again, it's just horrible overall, like... But, um, okay, now let me talk about the other timeline, not timeline, just the other thing, right? Um, obviously I talk about the amnesia thing, but what if on purpose, right? What if I'm going to be stuck in the time loop soon? What if on Joseph Nightflyer's 10th anniversary, 
my mind gets teleport well not teleported but brought back in time put into my 12 year old body obviously 10 years ago um as, yeah 10 years ago let's say like when I, obviously when i started you make like when i made the channel obviously i have all the memories what would i do you know it's such an interesting thing to talk about timelines and alternate theories. That's why I talked about, like, what if Destiny did, like, a timeline alternate alternate thing where, like, when you become the final ship, you just, like, reset, like, your, your like, life or something. Like, I don't know, man. It's so weird to think about because, like, there's obviously, like, things you can do and can't do. I'd be raging that I can't, like, <laughs> drink anymore and I'd be raging that I can't just, oh... I never even noticed a volcano smoking before. I think that's the first time I've actually seen it. Or noticed it anyway. When I've been cleaning stuff like this. But, um... What do we call it? Like, it's so weird to think about, like, what would you do first, you know? Now, obviously, since this would be me starting a new... Like, my first channel. I would not create, um... The Night Flyer. Now that I think about it, the whole story between, like, Joe's Nightflyer and the Nightflyer currently literally would not exist at that point, which is weird to think about. Dark Nightflyer wouldn't have existed when I was, uh, like, if I had the Amnesia thing as well. Well, actually, to me, obviously. And, yeah, I'd have to relearn, like, everything, but, um, whatchamacallit. It's so weird to think about, but, like, I think one of the first things I would do is maybe, like... I think, unironically, I think I would enjoy doing homework again. <laughs> it's it's just, I know it's fucking silly to say, but it's just like, bro, after, like, all this time not doing, like, school homework, like, I have a bit of knowledge on this. I might actually be able to, like, do good in this. So, like, at, for a start, I probably would actually do well in exams and stuff and whatnot. I've been practicing to write a story. So I could literally, like, write in English. I could... No, I just realized as well. In these both scenarios. Obviously, in, like, the amnesia... An, a, amnesia scenario. Like, I still have the story. So I literally would just have to read over the notes and shit. And then I'd be like, oh, so this is the story I wanted to write. But what did I want to write about next? That's the unfortunate part as well. I would forget, like, how I wanted the series to end and whatnot. And how far I wanted to go with the series. But it, it'd be what it is at that point. But, um, no, but yeah, again, in the 12-year-old scenario, it's like, wait, where am I going next? Okay, I guess I'm going over here now. In the 12-year-old scenario, it's just like, I guess I could start writing the story then. Because obviously, I'd have the computer, I'd just literally need to make, like, a Word document and go from there, you know? And obviously, the least stuff you do... Would probably be the worst. Actually, no. The first thing you probably should do. If that ever happened. If you got, like. If you were given a second chance to, like. Uh, and you went back ten years ago. To change yourself. Like, honestly. The thing you should probably do first. Is, like, write shit down. Maybe even keep it, like, a diary. Just to make sure you're not, like, imagining things. Because if you are going, like, skits or something. And you were imagining yourself. That you were 12 years old again or some shit. And, like, you know. You see the illusions and all that shit. Like, that'd be mad. But. Um, it'd be insane. Especially, it'd be so weird, though. Because I just realized, in Destiny, I literally would not, like... I think at that point, like... If, if the universe decided, no, Joe. I'm pu putting you back to when you were 12. When you get Destiny, you have to do all of it again. I, 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 at that point, I think I would literally just make one character. And then when I when I would be super bored during, like, um, Destiny 1's downtime, that's when I'd make another one. But, like, it would all depend and stuff, you know? As much as I'd love to interfere with, like, the development of Destiny, I think I'd just let it go its course. Because, obviously, if everything's still the same and I haven't fucked too much up in the timeline, then, like, we'll still get to the point we are now with the Witch Queen and stuff. So, yeah. But I could, like, be a meme account. I could be like, huh, imagine if uh, Bungie got acquired by Sony ten years from now. And people are like, nah, that would never happen. Bungie would never do a deal. And then literally, like, fucking... <laughs> come to, like, present present day, literally. And it's just like... or I think it was, like, January when it happened. The end of January when it was announced. And then people are like, what the fuck? This guy's a psychic. 
I'd be able to fuck around with a lot of people in that shit. But, um... It's just... It's so mad to think about as well, right? Because, um... Like, at that time as well... Like, obviously I wouldn't have Filmora, so I'd be at a disadvantage already. And I don't even have good quality cameras, so that's another disadvantage. But, I do have the advantage of kind of knowing the periods of YouTube and what's happening during them times. The only problem is I don't have the money, I don't have the proper resources, and I don't have, um... I don't have a deep voice like I do now. During that time, we had Squeaky Nightflyer. He's a cute little fella, but he was squeaky. And now I understand fully why people did not want to, <laughs> like, stay with the channel. I understand that my friends were being kind to me when they subbed to my channel at first. Now, do I argue that I make better content now? Yes. Do I think everybody should watch it? No. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know, instead of going back up, how about we just press the button and bring, like, thing down to us? But, like, um... How did I miss that? The... Oh. Shit, right. Let me do under here first. Oh, I didn't do the under that one as well. No. I wanted the range one, but I'll, I'll just wait till it comes back around. But, um... Give me a second. Right, before I go, I must mention... Oh, wait, let, let me just uh, wait till this does thing. I'm assuming there's... Oh, no, there's no dirt on that. But, um... What was I going to say? Uh, 12-year-old self. YouTube. Windows Movie Maker. I can't really remember now. All I do know is that, like... I think I would struggle... Like, to make the same friends I did beforehand. Like, it'd be so weird. I think this time, honestly, if anybody, like, flirts with me, even if it was a joke, I'd actually take it more seriously. Just, just to see if it went anywhere. That'd be such a funny timeline if, like, I had a girlfriend when I was, like, really young. It's just, like, we, we actually stuck together and shit, and it was all cool and dandy. Like, man. It, that would be mad, but... Um, yeah, I think, like... Honestly, and it, oh man, I literally could avoid playing Overwatch. I say that, but I could also play Overwatch and be goaded at Overwatch. I actually would decimate people because I would I would probably get like at least diamond in Overwatch, like in this timeline. I would say I'd get higher, but nah, I'd probably get like at least diamond and call it a day. Be like, yup, okay, that's all I wanted. But um. Oh, but I just realized Goat Sim wouldn't happen because I'd, I'd literally would... I don't even know if I'd want my own computer, the uh, Xbox. Oh, my, it's so weird to think about what I'd have to do. Because it depends as well what trend I'd have to be keeping up with at the time as well. And, like, you know for a fact when Vine come, like bounces around in this timeline that, like, I am taking full advantage of that. Like, a lot of people would probably be stingy with their content and where they post it. Like, even nowadays, I'm not as stingy anymore. Like, I literally post, like, like, like clips of my channel onto TikTok. A platform where I'm probably never going to make money off of it. Well, I don't make money off YouTube, but there's more potential, you know what I mean? And, like, it's just like, bro, this is just a big brus momentous. <laughs> brus momentous, what a good word. I love that word. Um, but, like... It'd be just so cool to, like, um, like, see things in the open rise. It'd be such a shame, though, that I'd be using Vine knowing that, like, TikTok, or not TikTok, Twitter would buy it and fucking close it, you know? Then TikTok would come later. Oh, but I think it was known as Musical.ly first, so I'd actually, like, I would get into the Musical.ly shit first and then go from there. That is so funny to think about, man. But, um, yeah, I think I would just sell my soul to the devil in this timeline, you know? Nobody knows me in that timeline anymore, so why not? I just, I kind of feel ashamed sometimes when I do TikTok, but like, it's sometimes it is just how it is, you know? Anyway, I'm going to stop now before I keep talking, because I want to eat now. So, here's like the uh, first mission of the Witch Queen, by the way. So again, spoilers if you haven't seen it already. Man. <clears throat> why did I say it? 
the cutscene quality in the Witch Queen has like improved. Like just seeing it again on my screen. Oh well, obviously on your screen it's going to be two forty, but <laughs> oh, excuse me, Jesus. But um, my brain's gone blank. Uh, yeah, Witch Queen quality is good. There you go. <laughs> That's all I need to say. Cause um. You know, I was going to talk about, like, basically, like, Tang. I just realized, though, like, if I went back in time and, like, my 12-year-old had, like, my 21-year-old self brain, it'd be mad, like, how much of a shit I probably wouldn't give. So I say, like, I would improve and, like, um, test and stuff, but at the same token, I could be a lazy piece of shit, only spec into YouTube, and, uh, yeah, it would be problematic from there. What are you doing, Joe? Get in. Um, yeah, we're good for time. I'll probably go before half past today. Especially once the quality of the stream is green. But if it turns red, it doesn't matter. Like, it ne nearly always does that. I'm actually more surprised than anything that it is, Ting. I think it's because, like, I literally was uploading TikTok beforehand. <laughs> I've warmed the internet up to be, like, used a lot already, so. Yeah. Oh. You know, let me just let me just clean this down while I'm here instead of like hopping back in. Uh, uh huh. Just taking that out of my tooth. I don't know why I've hated like getting stuff stuck in my in between my teeth recently. But um, yeah, it'll be so interesting, right? Because before in the past, I thought I was being like kind of bullied on the odd chance, but not really. Like they were just. They're just being like fucking. Well, actually, no. They were. They were trying to bully. They were fucking poor excuses of bullying. But like, they were. They well, it was kind of bullying. I shouldn't really undermine that. Actually, it's kind of serious. But, um. But if I'm being real, though, literally, like, I just remember this one time, where he like he just walked into the computer room whilst me and a friend were playing like Minecraft and like, and he's like, just is playing Minecraft, like in a sarcastic tone like that, and like. I don't know why, I rushed out of the room, looked to them, and just fucking just left. I didn't do anything else. I just fucking fueled his, like... I just fueled him. Like, I, I li literally, if I just didn't do anything, like, it would have been just, just as good, like... Um, now, you may be asking, how will we play Minecraft on the school computers? There's a lot of questions that should not be answered on the live stream. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I, I never share, shared that memory before, but, like, I, I thought I'd share it just for this context. So, obviously, in that case, if that somehow happened again, I don't even think it would. I think, because, like, I think I'd make a better name for myself. i try to be a bit more confident if I can. But I'll be real, any time, like, I see a girl, even nowadays, I'm, like, I, I'm too simpish. Like, for my fucking, uh... I'm actually annoyed at myself that I'm still, like, kind of like that. But it's because, like, I don't really talk to many, like, girls, you know? I've never really... Well, I say I've never had many, like, uh, girl friends. Like, not obviously partner, but, like, actual friends that, that were in the female... Uh, I was going to say race. No, race is different. In the female gender of humanity. But I actually think I've... I think it's been, like... Well, I say it's even, but, like... I'd say it's, like, 70-30%. And obviously you could be like, oh, so seven male friends, three female friends. Maybe not wrong, but no, no, seriously. Um, like, I've had, um, I swear, like, when I was really young, when I used to live in the old house, the, whatchamacallit, yeah, I was friends with a girl and a lad. Then when I moved to Thing, I was friends with a girl and a lad. I'm thinking first, like, outside of school, so, like, there's that. Um, I was friends with a lad. Yeah, because now that I think about it, like, those are the only two I can think off the top of my head. And obviously it considers, like, who I would consider a friend as well. Because I'll be honest, everybody I've ever met, I wouldn't really consider a friend. I, I'm going to use, like, my friend's old words and say, like, I would consider them more of an acquaintance, you know? But when I talk about people nowadays, it's more likely that they're my friend than an acquaintance, you know, but... Just thought I'd get that out of the way in case anybody got confused by that and thinking that I'm throwing shade at someone or something when they think like they're my friend when they're not actually but the only thing I will say though is like I know like everybody is meant to like kind of have their best friend and stuff but I don't really have a best friend 
If I had a best friend, I would probably always, like, be talking to them non-stop, you know? I think best friend, like, for me at this point now, it's just, it's just reserved for, like, if I ever, like, find a girlfriend in life, you know? Or a boyfriend. Maybe I'd become bi in this timeline as well or something. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. I think I've already mentioned this before. I, I've tried, like, seeing what it's like. So I, I think I was, like, quasi-sexual or something, like, curious or something, like, exploring or whatever. Like, you know, whatever the term was, and then, like, I quickly was like, nah. Crack a view of the volcano from on top of the wheel, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I didn't even say that right, but it doesn't matter. I'm putting my own twist on the words. But, um, what was I even saying? Friends in class, bullies. Especially when it's smoking like it is right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whatchamacallit. <clears throat> the other interesting things. It's supposed to do that, yeah? I think, honestly, like in this alternate timeline, I think I would actually try a bit harder for Irish, honestly. I don't, like, even maybe even French a bit. Because, like, Honestly, at, th at this time, like, I basically have all the time. So if I could just, like, <laughs> spec some of my time into learning different languages, that'd be so cool. Like, imagine in this alternate timeline, I make, like, a French channel, and I only speak French in it, and I translate my own videos into French and stuff. That'd be so cool. Or I, d I strike a deal with, like, one of the Gale Talks in Ireland. <laughs> and it's just like, yo, I can make Irish videos for you guys, if you want. But, like, you know... We'd have to work together on this one. And then they give me the funding and stuff to do it. And it's like, yo, let's go. If anything, I could literally live in a Gale Talk. Like, if I learned how to speak Irish. And just make videos whilst in a Gale Talk. I'd say, like, the standard of living isn't that high in thing. Like, I'd say it'd be cheaper to live in a Gale Talk than anywhere else. It's just, the only problem is, like, everybody else speaks Irish. So if you don't speak Irish or you're not fully understanding of the Irish language... You just kind of screwed. Or should I say the Gael a Gaelic language? Gaelic? Yeah, I'd say Gaelic. Gaelga. Neil may kind of Gaelga. Even though I literally just <laughs> spoke Irish just right there. You know, that's sometimes still a mad thing to think about, right? Because I, I, like, I know people who, like, or, like, I, you know, in films and stuff and other friends and stuff, you're like, oh, yeah, there's always that, like, one friend that can speak, like, English uh, fluently along with speaking their own native language. And then it's like... I have a language, but I can't speak it nati natively. You know, actually, you never know. Maybe if I do quit YouTube, right? Like, that'll be one of the things I do. I just, like, learn Irish, publish my story in Irish, and then if it does popular, we can, like, publish it to the rest of Ireland. Like, I say that as if I could just publish it once. Like, if it's a light novel, it's going to have to be, like, for multiple, um... It's going to have to be, like, multiple publishes. It's like the Fazbear Fright story. It's not just one story. It's, like, multiple stories. I love the way I've done this to myself again. I've, I've climbed this joke when I don't even need to. I love doing it, though. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Oh, man, come on. No, don't be near half past already, man. I only got the stream once this week because of Witch Queen. I actually want to keep talking about this theory because it's so interesting to me. I love time, space, and all that, like. Um... I guess there, I might as well finish it up by trying to speak about one last thing. Well, what what is like the one last thing I would do? The one last thing I would do is uh, hmm. Not make a Twitter account. There we go. Okay, now honestly, if I was like, if I did manage to make myself popular at fucking like fourteen. Because it is possible, right? Because I remember a guy named, like, Zombie Wars SMT who did, like, FNAF videos. Like, if he if he was that young and could, like, get a good audience, like, then I could do that too. Well, not at the time, but, yeah. He, he was lucky with the stuff he had at the time as well. But, um, I actually don't even know where he is nowadays. But, fucking, what do we call it? I don't know, man. I think that's it. I think I should just wrap it up now before I keep going. Maybe next day I'll talk more about it if I remember. So, yeah. Right. Let me stop. I'm going to completely stop the game. So, thank you so much for watching the stream. If you're watching on Twitch, obviously follow. If you're watching this on YouTube as a VOD, make sure to like the VOD if you liked it. Comment on what you think I should talk about next. If this is the last, like, thing in Power Wash or not. And subscribe if you want and hit the bell if you do so desire. 